Hey, I wanted to just do a quick video. I'm working on the training courses and so it's taking a lot of time, but I want to check out for a moment and, and share some something about N8N, about executions. This topic is as boring as heck, but it is one of the key features with N8N that really make it an easy sell. Not only do you get the no-code moment of building uh, APIs, not only do you get the integration with AI, but supporting N8N or anything you build is so important that when you have a framework that can that has a feature like this. And I've been watching videos on AI crew and other the lane chain or non-lane chain frameworks, and I forget the name of it, but there is a known UI element for this that maybe N8N is using. I just really like how it's working here. When a problem happens on a system, I get notified on Slack because I can use the particular feature here. This one might not be set for notifications because it would be just not worth it. But here I can notify myself and then come in and go fix it, right? So that error workflow would just ping me on Slack. Now, when I come back here, though, I can go into the past executions and I could find the one that is not working. And if I find that one that is not working, then I can see what happened. I mean, to a degree. And this is just amazing because I, as a developer or non-developer, can come in I can quickly find in one place what went wrong and I could click around and see. And, and again, when you get into the AI agent part of this, you even have more logging, but I won't cover that because this isn't about that. <clears throat> we can quickly see what the error was. Now, to take it even further in a good way, I can then say debug in the editor and bring in that pinnable data. The pinnable data is just a representation of the data that came, came in that you've saved or made. Um, so you can just more easily do this stuff and move from flow to flow to recreate the problem, which is key. Knowing the problem is key, awesome. Recreating the problem is another key thing to do when you're troubleshooting or building a system. And so lastly, I could fix this one. This one is just one of those ones that happen once in a while. This is not a big deal. But I've had so many where a service I was using was down. I'm like, oh no, it was down. I could just click here and rerun it. I think this one I could rerun if I cared about this particular loss, but this one I don't care about. But what if this was a client's email, they're automating it and it didn't work out, but they wanted to work out. I could click here and go click test and it would go through it. I could even have just reran it right here. So we've had a couple during this video too, and it's okay, I'm just working on something. Actually, it's probably more that structured data because I don't know why. It was working great this long and then that kicked in. But welcome to tech. Welcome to AI. AI is amazing, but it's not always consistent. But I could have just ran it from back here as well to say, hey, you know what? I, I just need to rerun it. Like I said, sometimes it's just a service was down that I'm using and boom, I just rerun it and it's fine. I could go through a bunch of those. I bet you if I bought a license, I could probably do a bulk rerun. I don't know. But yes, yeah, execution history, amazing feature with NAN. I, I just can't tell you enough when you're looking to discover if this tool is for you, keep that in mind because that is a big win for me supporting what I build, bringing other developers and non-developers in to support what we build. And then, yeah, it's just, I can't tell you enough how nice it is. I know in some ecosystems, even here, I'm sure you have Sentry and all these things, but it's to have it all in one place, have it all rerunnable, it's hard to beat, in my opinion. So yeah, I wanted to just point that out as I go back to recording this course. I'll link to the course below. All right. Thank you.